how she's pulling out all the stops to win her runoff. It's a story you won't see anywhere else. A bike skids across the road, killing a man. An emotional goodbye for a mother who used her dying breath to save her children from a fiery crash. Temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer for us during the overnight hours, but we'll talk about your weekend. If you do have some big outdoor plans scheduled, uh, we expect the winds to pick up. We also have an opportunity for some showers and storms in your seven-day forecast. That's all coming up. As the weather warms up, bees are back. What's being done to keep you safe from their sting? UTEP's longtime track coach is approaching the final stretch of his illustrious career. After a year in Iraq, more than 200 soldiers are reunited with their families. I'm Veronique Masterson. I'll take you to the emotional homecoming and show you one surprise a soldier had for his girlfriend. It's Thursday night. It's 10 o'clock. 10 straight minutes of news start now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland, this is ABC 7 at 10. Why are you running away from us? I don't understand that. There's nothing to run away. She declined our debate no, and has been avoiding us. our questions all week. Okay, but tonight we finally hear from State Rep. Norma Chavez. Good evening, you. everyone. I'm Rick Cabrera. And I'm Isela Casa. Should voters be offered a free meal and a drink by a candidate, then immediately delivered to the polls? Today we set out to ask Ms. Chavez that question who is in a heated runoff with Naomi Gonzalez about that specific method. Chavez admits she's done it for years, but when ABC 7's Darren Hunt caught up with her this afternoon, this is what happened. Norma, talk to us for a second. As soon as we were spotted at Pablo Real Rec Center, one of Norma Chavez's campaign workers sprinted to the back of the building to warn her. You don't even know what we're going to ask. Why are you running? Earlier in the day, we were at Speaking Rock, trying to gain access to the Get Out the Vote rally clearly being thrown by Chavez. I can guarantee you're not going in. But security quickly kicked us off the property. Later, Tigua Tribal Lieutenant Governor Carlos Hisa refused to appear on camera, but gave us this statement. We are pushing the vote, but we are not telling people whom to vote for. The democratic machine in motion, man. Armando Diaba, who showed up with a buddy to vote for Chavez at Pablo Real Thursday, told us they were at the rally. It is a popularity contest. Why don't the other candidates go and do something like that? You know, they don't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on some food and beer. What's wrong with that? Since Tuesday, I was seeing some buses coming in full. Crystal Rodriguez is a campaign worker for Naomi Gonzalez, and she says she was prevented from giving campaign information to people getting off the Speaking Rock buses to vote at Pablo Real. I feel that they feel obligated to, to vote for just one candidate. Which is what we wanted to ask so Chavez. Why, why are you running away from us? I don't understand that. There's nothing to run away. Remember then, stop I'm and talk to us. I'm campaigning. Okay, well, stop I'm and talk to us. I'm for my campaign volunteers and the rest of the workers. Well, why did these guys sprint from over here the minute we pulled up to go tell you that we were here? Because the media is trying to make a circus out of this race, and I'm talking directly to the voters. I'm asking you legitimate questions about bringing people to the polls. What is wrong with it? Is, every campaign brings people to the polls. I, I agree that some bring people to the polls. Yes. It appears, what, 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 what yes, goes on it? Yes, there's an event, lunch, having lunch for people happens all the time. And I'm very proud to say that I have a lot of supporters and they're tired of all the negative campaigning. Well, no, my opponent is done. What Thank goes you. on What goes on at, at Speaking Rock before they're brought over here? What's said there? Naomi Gonzalez's campaign finance reports show she has purchased some candy and cakes for senior centers over the past month. We asked her campaign if they also go to the lengths that Chavez does to get out the vote. Their response? No comment. Darren Hunt, ABC7. UTEP political science professor Dr. Gregory Rocha tells ABC7 throwing parties and busing people to the polls is perfectly legal, although controversial, and the approach is as old as Texas politics. Tomorrow is the last day of early voting. Election day is Tuesday. Fun memories of the mother killed on I-10 after saving her kids from a burning SUV. 25-year-old Carla Serino.